Topic of today lecture series is introduction to bioethics. I am Ms. Sarish Berg, working as a lab manager and also a teaching associate in Dow College of Biotechnology. The objective of this lecture series is basic definition of ethics, basic definition of bioethics, basic uh, what are the different types of ethics and what are the different ethical theories uh, of in ethics and how they will be related in biotechnology. So what is ethics and what are the basic definition of ethics? Decision between right and wrong and ethics is equal to moral plus reasoning. In another word, ethics refers to the moral principles and value that guide human behavior and decision making. It involves determining what is right and wrong, good or bad, and how individual and society should act uh, at uh, ethics provide a framework uh, for evaluating actions and their con uh, consequences. And it is often encompasses concepts such as fairness, uh, justice, uh, honesty, integrity, and respect for others. It is a fundamental aspect of various uh, fields including philosophy, uh, psychology, law and business and it's play a crucial role in uh, shaping personal and professional conduct. Uh, some of the ethical principles we are using in our daily lives are honesty and integrity, fairness of uh, commercial practices, data confidentiality, environmental care, professional behavior, uh, professional skills and add value and social uh, respect. So what are the different branches of uh, ethics? There are four branches of ethics, descriptive ethics, normative ethics, applied ethics, and meta-ethics. What is the descriptive ethics? Descriptive ethics is also known as a comparative ethics, is the study of people's belief about morality, or is the is a form of empirical research, uh, research into attitudes of individuals or group of people. If we explain descriptive ethics in, a de in another way, it involves the study of how people actually behave and what moral values they hold. It aims to describe and understand different ethical beliefs, uh, customs and practices within various cultures and societies. For example, uh, studying cultural uh, norms, surroundings, uh, marriages or the moral uh, value relevant to in a particular uh, community. Second one is the normative ethics. What is normative ethics? Normative ethics is concerned with the content of moral judgment and the criteria for what is wrong or what is right. In another word, uh, normative ethics is focuses on establishing the norms or standards by which we judge the morality of actions. It provides ethical theories uh, and principles that guide our moral decision making. Uh, examples of normative uh, ethics have different ethical theories are include in which utilitarianism and uh, deontological theory and uh, virtue ethics. The third branch of ethics is applied ethics. Applied ethics looks at the controversial topics like war, animal rights and capital punishment. Applied ethics, in another words, deal with a specific moral uh, issues and dilemmas uh, in various field or contexts. It involves uh, the application of ethical principles to real life situations. For example, uh, in this number one is bioethics. Uh, the, this field focuses on ethical issues in medicines, healthcare, and biotechnology. Uh, for example, uh, um, example of bioethical dilemmas include end of life, uh, decisions, organ transplantation, genetic engineering, and informed consent. If we discuss uh, the other example, it's business uh, business ethics. Examine ethical principles and standards in the uh, business world. It involves issues such as uh, corporate social responsibilities, fair trade practices, ethical uh, marketing, and treatment of employees. The third example in applied ethics is environmental ethics. Uh, environmental ethics is basically concerned the moral relationship between humans and the nature, natural environment. Um, it addresses topics like uh, uh, stability, um, stability, conversion, and animal rights and climate change. 
branch of ethics is metaethics. Metaethics deals with the nature of moral judgment. It looks at the origins and meaning of ethical principle. In another word, uh, metaethics explores the nature, origins, and meaning of ethical principle. It delves into the underlining concept and languages used in ethical dis uh, discussions. Examples uh, of uh, metaethics is ethical relativism. Uh, this is a perspective was that uh, ethical judgments are relative to culture, uh, social, and individual beliefs. It suggests that what is considered morally right or wrong can vary across different contexts. The uh, so second one is a moral uh, realism, holds uh, example of metaethics. It holds that there are uh, objective moral uh, truths that exist uh, independently of human opinions or belief. It argues moral facts can be uh, discovered through reason and observations. Bioethics. Bioethics is a study of ethical issues emerging from advances in biology and medicines, and it was also moral discriminant as it relates to medical process, policies and uh, practices. In another word, uh, bioethics is specifically concerned with moral principles and decision in the context of medical practices, policies, and research. Uh, moral difficulties connected with medicines are so complex and important that they require special attention. Uh, medical ethics give them attention, but it uh, remains a part of the discipline of ethics. Uh, thus, if we are making a, thus if we are answered the question as to whether there are any rules and principles to use when making moral decision in the medical con uh, context, we must turn to uh, general ethics uh, principles and theories into the concentration and more uh, concentration of moral principles that we have proposed in hold in context of human behavior and action. What are the different theories of bioethics? There are uh, several uh, different theories of ethics that are relevant to bioethics. Uh, these theories provide the, basically the framework of thinking about ethical issues and making moral judgments. Uh, some of the most common theories of ethics include utilitarianism, deontological, and virtue ethics. What we are discussing here is utilitarianism. Jaren Bantham in 1748 till 1832 was the father of utilitarianism. Utilitarianism is an ethical theory that determines right from wrong by focusing on outcome. It is a form of consequentialism, the one that will produce the greatest good for the greatest number. And in other words, utilitarianism, the theory that holds the action, should be judged based on their consequences, specifically on the amount of overall happiness or well-being they produce. Uh, this theory seeks to maximize the overall amount of happiness in society and minimize the amount of suffering. In bioethics, utilitarianism may be used for weigh the cost and benefit of different medical interventions and policies. And another word, in a simple word, this is a theory with, in which we used cost-benefit analysis. There are two kinds of uh, utilitarianism, act utilitarianism and uh, rule utilitarianism so there is a difference between rule and act utilitarianism the act utilitarianism considered by the result only the result or consequences of the single uh, act while has the rule utilitarianism considered the consequences that results of following a uh, rule of conduct in other different words we can explain act uh, utilitarianism evaluate and acts by its actual consequences whereas a rule utilitarianism evaluates an action by other consequences of its uh, general or a universal practices by all other person and perhaps into the future and past as well the second theory is a dentological approach it's a Kantian philosophy, Emil Kant and German, 1724-1804. Dentological uh, from Greek uh, word, which means duty, non-consequentialist theory, uh, says to uh, it because it is a right thing to do on principle. Pupils are and in themselves must not be treated as mean to ends. Uh, the basic purpose of this theory is respect for persons. 
uh, motives are what counts having a good will a sense of duty makes and another words in simple words in theological ethics told us uh, that certain actions are inherently right or wrong regardless of their consequences according to the dendrologist uh, moral duties and obligations uh, should guide or our behavior and these duties are uh, derived from universal rules or principles for example the principle of respect for autonomy which requires what we respect an individual's right to make decisions for themselves is a deontological principle that is frequently applied in by theory is a very famous example is a trolley theory what is the trolley theory told us in the trolley problem the british philosopher uh, fought 1978 and thomas in 1985 a well known moral dilemma people are focused to make a moral decisions between these two ethical judgments that is harming one person this is a utilitarianism judgment or letting many people die is a utilitarianological uh, judgment uh in it, it is a ethical to save one or kill another people is a basic question taking that person's life may be justifiable but it is never ethical no matter what the situation is and who the person is or who is being saved it is a still murder in the end killing that one person is still taking a life and it is never right that uh, in the trolley dilemma uh, allow us to think through the consequences of action and consider whether it is uh, morally moral value is determined solely by its outcome in the real life example we have seen this trolley problem in the uh, chernobyl situation was a nuclear accident that occurred in 26 april in 1986 in there uh, was essentially a trolley problem in which the russian government was focused to decide if they should uh, intervene and prevent greater harm by intentionally causing a uh, lesser one the theory is the virtue ethics aristotle uh, greece world in the 15th century uh, we be, uh, become good by practicing good not by uh, external rules uh, human nature ethics basically as total human potentialist uh, theory was based on this virtue ethics and action that enhance inherent uh, human capacities are good uh, can be linked to the theories of moral development is also linked with the virtue uh, virtue ethics in another word virtue ethics focuses on the character traits and that enables individual to act morally uh, virtue ethics emphasizes the Uh, importance of cultivating good characters and developing uh, a virtuous habit uh, in bioethics virtue ethics uh, may be applied to questions of uh, professional ethics such as the responsibility of healthcare uh, providers uh, in the end uh, of Uh, this lectures uh, these are the many other theories of ethics that can be applied to uh, bioethics and ethical dilemmas uh, in this field uh, often required a careful uh, concentration of multiple uh, pres- uh, perspective and principles uh, each of these theory uh, has its own uh, strength and weaknesses and bioethicist may draw on different uh, theories depending on the specific issue at hand uh, ultimately the goal of bioethics is to promote uh, the ethical decision making and to ensure that individuals are treated with respect and dignity in all aspects of uh, healthcare and the life sciences and these uh, in the last summary of this uh, lecture is uh, ethics are essential for promoting moral decision making building trust protecting individual fostering uh, human cohesion and enabling sustainable and responsible behavior uh, they provide a moral compass uh, uh, that guide individuals and organizations toward action that are beneficial to uh, society as a whole thank you for uh, the lecture uh, for listening this lecture